Hi, welcome back to Animation Teacher. Today in Harmony, we're going to go over how to create a drawing symbol. Including in this drawing symbol, we're going to talk about instances and layers within instances and why we would use them. All right, so let's create a new project. Today's project we'll call Symbol Instance Layer. So the first thing I want to show you is in this drawing symbol that's automatically created, I'm going to click this yellow box and name it Hand Symbol. The next thing we want to do is set the parental pegs at the bottom here. And I'm just going to make sure things are set to separate. Next I'm going to go pick a color to work on my sketch with. I'll pick this green here. So this is just going to be my sketch layer. So as you can see I'm drawing right on the camera view here and we can adjust things later on. There's my first drawing. We're going to go to the next frame and here's my second drawing. Next we'll go into the drawing tab. I'm actually on the L layer which is the line art layer inside this symbol within this instance. So the instances are displayed on the timeline. The symbol itself is simply just the hand and within each instance on the timeline you can toggle between the layers. So for now I'm going to do a cleanup using the overlay layer and I'm just going to use this eye icon just so I can see underneath of it. And like everything else in Flash and in Harmony, I have a preference on how I clean up. I like to use the square tool and manipulate the nodes and add points. This is again simply just to keep your drawings clean. So if you ever have to do a reuse and duplicate your drawing and manipulate it, it would be much easier to do since you're dealing with fewer points. The fewer the points, the better. What's nice about using line art as opposed to brush is you can manipulate all the lines however you want. And in a later lesson, I will show you how to add features to the lines, such as textures and line weight. Okay, so that's the cleanup drawing of instance 2 of the hand symbol. Next we're going to go to the instance 1 of the hand symbol and once again utilizing the overlay layer I'm going to start cleaning this up. So one of the trickiest techniques I suppose is cross crossing these lines here and all you really do is do a cross on the line and then it creates a intersection point and you just manipulate the nodes to get what you want. So you can pretty much clean up anything here with this technique. So let me just tweak the cleanup a little bit here. Okay, that's a thumbs up and a open high five. Here we go. So we'll go back to the camera view and as you can see we see both layers being exposed here. The overlay layer and the line art layer. The overlay layer being the cleanup and the line art being the rough. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the properties tab and under drawing I'm going to deactivate the rough sketch. And as you can see the rough sketch is in the line art layer here on both instances. So I'm going to deactivate only the line art layer and leave the overlay art. So now we have a clean two-handed instance hand. And let me just put in a fill here. I'll just make it a blue hand here. There we go. One Make sure you're on the overlay layer while you fill this. There we go. And I'll just name this 
in my scenes palette uh, I'll name this hand fill and then this is my hand line all right so here's my hand and if you hit control P you'll get a peg so to adjust the peg you have to select this translate icon and then you can move it in place and then set it with your transform tool there and here we go so just three boxes of color that you should note the first one if you select the selection tool and you select the whole hand uh, you'll get a orange box now I'm just gonna adjust everything so we have the same rotation points but you can't just select the one layer since we have two layers we'll use this uh, duplicate selection tools it basically selects all the layers uh, in your instance so in this case both instances have two layers and I'm just gonna select the thumbs up instance and shift the two layers together into place note the colors if I have the selected drawing it's gonna select everything in orange if I use my selection tool if I use my transform tool and I select the drawing it's going to be magenta and if I select the peg it's going to be yellow so the general rule is if it's yellow you're good to go to move it when you move the yellow symbol you'll notice on the timeline right on top where the peg is you'll get a key and that's what we want to see so I'm just gonna move this over by dragging it here and just hitting F5 to expose the timeline and I'll show you just simple movements with the peg and how it changes the instance on the timeline and on the timeline you'll see that there's a notch uh, right in the timeline there where the drawing or the instance changes so there's my hand symbol in three different positions dictated by the peg and the dash indicates the change of the instance so that's pretty much it on symbols instances and layers thanks for watching animation teacher next week we'll look at how to build an arm and animate it using pegs and master pegs and possibly deformers until next time